Greetings of the day. I Shushil Dhiman from IHM Shimla welcome you all in, in the last session of food and beverage service equipments. In this session, we are going to do the remaining equipments that is the furniture, linen, other important F&B service equipments of F&B service department as well as the disposables used. So by the end of this session, all of you will be able to know the various types of furniture used in a restaurants. You will be able to know the sizes of the table, chair and other furniture items. Other than that, you will be able to identify the linen and the various sizes of the linen and you will be able to name the other equipments, important equipments of F&B service department. Other than that, you will be able to know what all disposables we use in the restaurants or in this industry. Let us start with the furniture. As we know that furniture is most of the time is made of wood. Sometimes it can be made of, of metal. It can be of the mixture of both metal and the plastic. Sometimes we use the coated plastic and there could be the marble tops as well. Now, while you are going to choose the furniture for your restaurant or organization, it depends that the theme of the restaurant, design of the restaurants and what obviously the structure of the restaurant. As you know that the furniture includes table, chair, sofa, all these things is the part of furniture. Let's start with the restaurant chair. If we go through the restaurant chair, you must know the sizes, the height and the width of the chair. So while we are talking about the size of the chair, it should be 18 inch from the ground till the seat. The height of the chair from the ground till seat should be 18 inch and height from the ground till the backrest top, it should be 39 inch and the size of the base or seat should be 18 by 18 inches. There is another chair which is used in most of the restaurants that is known as a trip chair. Trip chair is to make a small kids which is very young kid, two to three years old kid can be seated on crib chairs and that chair has lock system. So once you make your child sit on this chair, you can lock the child. So child cannot come out of the chair and your child will be safe. And this chair is little bit heightened so that the parents can feed uh, their child comfortably. Let us move to the restaurant tables. If we go through the restaurant table sizes, so there is a different sizes of the table is being used in a restaurant. There is two and a half feet by two and a half feet square table is being used for two person. There is a square table, three feet uh, by three feet square uh, table is being used for four person. There is a rectangular table. Uh, the sizes for rectangular table is four feet by two and a half feet, which is being used for rectangular table for four people. There is a round table as well. Uh, three feet diameter will be used for four person. There's a five feet diameter round table, which is being used for eight person. And all of the table should have that height of 30 inch. 30 inch is the standard height of all restaurant tables. So another one in furniture, there is a sideboard, which is also known as dummy waiter side station. So this is a very important equipment of the restaurants. And while we keep that side station in a restaurant, there is a certain ratio. Ratio in the sense for 30 covers in a restaurant, we must place one side station. And why we use side station in, uh, in a restaurant, it extends that quick and efficient of the equipment service. Actually, we place all those equipment in the side station, which can be utilized frequently and which will help in during the operation. It holds all the necessary crockery, cutlery, hollowware, menu cards, mineral water bottles, check pads and a company sauces as well. So this is very important equipment of the restaurant. That's why we called it dummy waiter. It, is, it acts as a waiter. Next is hostess desk. Hostess desk is very important equipment. It is the first meeting point between the staff and the guest. And from the hostess desk, all the reservations, all the table allocations and the waiting is being managed. The hostess will keep that, uh, all the menus, all the comment cards, uh, reservation diary, all these 
stuff is being uh, stored in this hostess desk. The size for the hostess desk, the height of the hostess desk is 49 inch, depth of the uh, hostess desk is 24 inch and the width of the hostess desk should be the 39.5 inches. So this is the standard uh, height, uh, depth and the uh, width of the hostess desk and this is very important equipment because of that it is going to act as a first impression to the guest. So it should be good always. Next is the linen. So in linen, as, as we have discussed earlier as, as well, in restaurant linen, we always use either a cotton, cotton blend. And nowadays there's a new trend or a new uh, clothes are popular now. They are using a cot cotton half polyester. So these clothes are very popular nowadays. Uh, because of that, they are very easy to maintain. They are very easy to use. In most of the uh, restaurant linen, we use uh, that cotton and uh, silk mix for the tablecloths or the table linen. If we go through the linen sizes for the table two and a half feet uh, square table, so the linen size will be the 48 inches by 48 inches. Actually, while we talk about the linen sizes for the table, so then we must add 18 inches is the fall. So whatever is the size of the table, we can add 18 inches, the fall of the tablecloth. So that will become your linen size for that particular table. So similarly, so if we talk about two and a half uh, feet uh, square table, so because of that, the size is 30 inch square table. So while we are adding 18 inch fall, it becomes 48 inch by 48 inch square table. So that is how 18 inch fall you must add in any of the table size. So that will become your linen size. Next is three feet square table. So uh, that is going to be 54 inches by 54 inches linen size, tablecloth size. For a rectangular table, uh, rectangular table size is uh, four and a half feet and two and a half feet. So the size of the tablecloth will be the 72 inch by 40, 48 inch. If we talk about the round table sizes, for the round table three feet diameter, linen size for the round table will be 54 inches by 54 inches. And the five feet diameter of round table, the size of the linen or the tablecloth will be 78 inch by the 78 inch. And there is a slip cloth which is also known as napkins which is being placed over the tablecloth. There's a, a certain reason why we use uh, napkins. Sometimes you can match with the decor of the restaurant, the color combination of the restaurant. Sometimes you use slip cloth or napkins just to hide the stains on the tablecloth. Size of the slip cloth in the napron is three feet by three feet. There is another thing which is being used in a restaurant that is called runners. Runner is a th thin strip. Uh, the size of the runner is uh, 54 inch by 12 inch. It will be a thin strip which can be placed crossed. It is being placed in the front of the guest. Actually, it cross over the table square table actually where the guest dine. So you can save your tablecloth from any, any food drops or any stains. So for that reason, sometimes the runner can be used. It can also be used for the color combination for the different uh, look of the restaurant. So uh, we can use runners as well. So next is the other linen uh, as uh, uh, serviette is there, which is also known as the napkin and uh, damask is the fabric name. So some sometimes we called it uh, damask as well, but you must know the size of the serviette also. Uh, serviette we call in French actually size for the serviette is 18 by 18 inch which can be used in a lunch and uh, 20 by 20 inches uh, which is being used for uh, the dinner so there's a two sizes of the serviette one is 18 inch by 18 inch another one is 20 inch by 20 inch next is the cocktail napkin cocktail napkin is a small napkin which is given along with the snacks or while the snacks is serving, uh, so then cocktail napkin can be given along with the drinks. The size of the cocktail napkin is six to eight inch square. There's a tea napkin also, which is mandatory or which is important to give along with the tea. The size is 12 inch square. Next is the waiter's cloth. Waiter's cloth is always carried by a waiter while he is working in a restaurant. It is mandatory cloth he needs to carry always with him. And uh, he always used to keep that waiter's cloth on the right hand 
and it is being utilized for many purpose as such while he is serving hot food items and uh, he needs to carry a hot platters in that case he or she can keep that waiter's cloth on the left hand and over that waiter's cloth they can keep the hot food so in other case for the wine service for the chilled uh, mineral water bottles for many purpose uh, they can use that waiter's cloth so in uh, next cloth we have the buffet cloth actually there is no as such uh, buffet cloth size it varies according to the standard of organization but there is a minimum uh, size for the buffet cloth is the 12 feet and there is a buffet frills as well uh, which can be of the cotton uh, fabric and it can be of the uh, satin uh, fabric and the height of the uh, frill must be 30 to 36 inch and minimum length should be the 12 feet or it can be increased uh, the minimum length is 12 feet or it can be increased or it can be more there is other equipments which is also play an important role in day-to-day uh, -day, uh, operation of fmd service department as such there is a plate warmer plate warmer is an equipment which is used in restaurants just to keep plate warm actually we keep all those plate warm which is being used for the main course main course full plate will be kept in inside this equipment this will be the electrical equipment and we put all the full plates clean foot full plates will will not keep all dirty plates will first of all wipe it all full plates properly and then we'll keep uh, these plates inside the warmer and while we are serving main course to the guest then we'll put these uh, warm plates to the guest so that the guest food should not get cold so for that purpose plate warmer will be utilized next equipment is bin mary bin mary is a equipment it is being used in a buffet where you need to keep the food item hot for a longer period for one hour two hour so in that case we keep the food item in a bin mary bin mary has the concept of double heating method it will be electrical uh, equipment so once we switch on the equipment uh, switch so in that case the, that electrical rods will heat up the water and that heated water will heat up the food item so we can keep the food item hot for a longer period so for that reason as far as uh, while we are serving food in a coffee shop and we need to refill that buffet continuously so we can keep the food item ready in a bin mary so from where we can just refill the food item for that purpose we use bin marys next is vending machine vending machine is a machine in which we put the coin any note or rupee so out of that we'll get that any snacks any drinks so that is called vending machine vending machine is situated uh, uh, sometime in on airports sometime on railway station so all, in all these places you can find this vending machine in which you will put the money inside and then you will get the food product so that is called a vending machine next is chefing dish chefing dish is a small equipment which is uh, very famous in banqueting we utilize this equipment in banquets mo most of the time it can be placed in coffee shop or restaurants as well where the buffet is being placed in which again as as like a bin mary uh, double heating method will be used in this we put fuel under the chefing dish and this fuel will heat up the water and water will heat up the food actually if we keep the food item directly on the fire so it can just burn the food item so just to avoid that we use double heating method in a chef and dish as well as in bin mary next equipment is the various trolleys as we have discussed earlier also there is a different types of trolley we use in our industry as like room service trolleys there room service trolleys being used for just to carry a food item to the guest room so we utilize that room service trolley there is a flambe trolley so while there's a flambe dishes in our menu so then you can do the flambe actually we carry the trolley nearby the guest and with the choice of the guest we used to provide the flambe dishes there is a snacks trolleys as well snacks trolleys is very famous in banqueting where you keep all the different variety of snacks in one trolley and that is how the guest will pick up the snacks from that trolley there's a gordon trolley as well gordon trolley is similar as like flambe trolley 
in which uh, we serve the various uh, dishes as like uh, smoked salmon, the caviar oysters can be served from the other trolley. It's very unique trolley. It's being carried in a restaurant in between the table and the trolley will be kept nearby the guest and the order will be taken from the guest and in the front of the guest, the handler will prepare the food item in the front of the guest. So this is what is the importance of Gordon trolley and it would be the point of sale for any any uh, restaurant because of that many of the restaurant doesn't use this trolley this trolley take more space actually you need to carry this trolley in between the table so that you need to reduce the number of covers then only you will be able to move that trolley inside the restaurant so this is what is the importance of Gordon trolley that can be the point of sale for any restaurant so as such, there are so many trolleys. There is a linen trolley, there is a plate trolley, there is a other trolleys also, which is being used in this industry. So next is our salver. Salver, which is also known as a beverage round. This is, I must say, the very, very important equipment for any steward or a waiter. Actually, while he or she is working in a restaurant, it is going to be the closest friend of a steward or a waiter. While we talk about the sizes of the salver, so the sizes can vary according to the standard of the company, uh, according to the standard of the restaurant. So sizes could be from 12 to 16 inch. So it depends on the organizational standard, how much is the standard to keep the standard uh, size of the salver. Next is the uh, tray. Tray could be a different type as like American tray are there. There's a continental trays are there. And the size itself, I told you that it varies according to the company, manufacturing company. It depends on the hotel's uh, standard that what should be the standard size of the tray. But there is a standard size is uh, 12 to 16 inches or 14 to 22 inches. So these are the standard sizes of the American tray and continental tray. Other equipments, if we talk about, there is a do juice dispensers. These juice dispensers is being used in most of most of the time in breakfast where, where the fresh juices is kept on buffet. So guests can take the fresh juices or canned juices from the buffet and there is a juice dispenser. Next equipment is ice cube machine. Uh, ice cube machine is a such machine which will provide you the ice cubes and the ice cube is very frequently used in our industry. It can be used in the hard drinks. It can be used in a, uh, in a soft drink as well. So there's no need to buy a, a ice cubes from the market. So that can be prepared in, in a hotel itself through the ice cube machine. So it is a very important equipment. Next is the Turin. Turin is basically a pot which has the lid and it, it can be in a various form. You can serve the various items as such. The famous tureens are the soup tureens. Soup tureens help you to serve the soup to the guest for a large gathering. So that is how uh, there is a soup tureen present in the industry. There is a water jug. Water jug is to serve a regular water from the tap or RO water, filtered water to the guest. We utilize that water jugs. Next is the bill folder. Bill folder is a such equipment uh, in which we put the guest bill and we make the billing done. So that is how we utilize that uh, bill folder just to present the bill to the guest. Next is the computer. Computer will be utilized for the software used in our industry or uh, in a, a restaurant just to punch the order, just to make the billing done. So for all these work, we utilize computer. So this is also the equipment uh, in other equipments we utilize in a uh, restaurants. Next is the hot plate. Hot plate is actually a meeting point between the kitchen and service staff. It, it is being placed in a, a kitchen uh, and it is a place where the kitchen people will prepare the food item and they'll keep ready food item in the hot plate. And service people is going to pick up that food item from the hot plate and then it will be served to the guest. The important part of hot plate is your food. If steward is not able to pick up the food quickly, if food get delayed two minutes, three minutes or five minutes. So then it should uh, it will not get cold. So in that case, food will remain hot under the hot plates. And meanwhile, the steward will come and he will pick up the food item and he will serve inside the restaurant. So that uh, for that purpose, we utilize hot plate. Next is tea coffee machines. Tea coffee machine is very common equipment in all the restaurants for serving tea and coffee. We do uh, use of uh, these tea coffee machine just to prepare tea, just to uh, 
arrange tea for all this purpose we utilize this tea and coffee machines next is the refrigerator the refrigerator is the equipment which is being utilized for uh, keeping all those items which has to be served chilled for example your soft drink your canned juices your other material which should be served chilled so uh, for all these items uh, which needs to be keep uh, chilled so for that we use refrigerator there is a few disposable items or equipments which is being used in our restaurants so i thought i must discuss with you so first is the paper napkin if we see the five star hotel standards we should never give a paper napkin to the guest we must provide a cloth napkin but in some cases we use a paper napkin so that's why i kept uh, keep this in slide so next is the placemat placemat will not be a disposable but it can be re reusable as well uh, most of the time placemats is being placed in a coffee shop coffee shop you might have seen that it's it's a 24 hour running restaurant so uh, if you keep linen it is very difficult to maintain for uh, after each table you need to change the linen so in that case they keep placemat it is very easy to remove next is coasters coaster is also a disposable item uh, in in the coaster we actually put the coaster under the glass and we use that coaster in those areas uh, in those restaurants where we are not using a table linen and while we are not using table linen and we place the uh, dripping glass over, over the table top, it uh, leaves the marks on the table. So just to avoid that situation, we put the coasters under the glass. So in that case, hotel can put the brand names or the logo over the coaster as well. So this is about coaster. Next is the table rolls. Table rolls uh, is being utilized in a buffet. Most of the time in a buffet service, we put the table rolls over that we can put the chef and dish. Just to avoid the, uh, uh, you know, the stains on the table cloth, we use the table rolls. Next is the gloves. Gloves, uh, the concept of the gloves is not there nowadays, but in formal dining, we can utilize these gloves and uh, gloves can be wear it by the servers. It looks more hygienic. And uh, so in that case, uh, in formal dining, we can utilize gloves and but obviously it will be also a disposable. It will be once used and then it will be thrown. So next is the plastic uh, which we use in our restaurant that is the cup, plate, cutlery bowls. But we have discussed about crockery, we have discussed about proper flatware, stainless steel, EPNS items. We, so then why we are carrying that plastic? Because of that, if there's a certain items are left over in, in, in the guest meal, for example, guest has ordered a paneer makhni and the, some amount of portion is left. So he wants to take away or, uh, along with him. So in that case, you must provide a small boxes, small cutlery, small plates and small bowls. So for the takeaways. So similarly, we are going to put all these stuff in a carry bags and we are going to put all those stuff in you know, a packing boxes so for that reason that all disposable item is required let's sum summarize this session so we have discussed about the uh, furniture the various table sizes the chair sizes we have discussed about the sideboard hostess desk in linen we have discussed about what are the various sizes of the linen what kind of linen we use and uh, what are the various names of the linen we use in F&B service department or in a restaurants. We have discussed about the various other equipments and uh, at last we have used disposable item used in a restaurants or a industry. With this, I am Shushil Diman signing off this series of session on the topic food and beverage service equipment. Thank you. Have a great day. Stay safe. Stay healthy.